In this video, we will walk through a demonstration of how quick and easy it is to create a syllabus in the new syllabus application when starting from a pre-existing Word document. Since we know which course we are building the syllabus for, let's head over to the Courses page and find the relevant course section. From this page, we can automatically generate the course information for our syllabus by clicking on Create New in the row corresponding to Theater 200, Section 1. As you can see, this syllabus already includes the course information as well as the university required policies on disability access and Title IX. The next section is Course Requirements, which shows a breakdown of all the components that will make up the course curriculum. In the syllabus application, there are two different section types that we will use to reconstruct this breakdown, materials and activities. Let's begin with materials. In the notes column for the first row, we see the authors, Robert Cohen and Donovan Sherman. We will copy this information and paste it into the authors field. We see the title theater, Brief Edition, 11th Edition, and that it's a required text. Copy this title and paste it into the title field, as well as select Yes for Required. Finally, let's copy over the ISBN numbers for the hard copy and Kindle editions. The remaining rows in the Course Requirements table are best suited for the Activity section type in the syllabus application. This is because activity sections have a field for contribution to grade. For this demo, we will stick with the high-level overview and put everything into a single activities table. Let's copy everything in the third column and paste it into our first activity row. Looking at the description, we see that examinations make up 25% of the total grade. So for contribution to grade, we will enter 25% of the final grade. Next, we will add the quizzes row by clicking on Add Another Activity. Enter quizzes as the name, and then we will copy the information for quizzes. After pasting this information in, I can see that quizzes make up 45% of the total grade. So let's type in 45% of the total grade. Let's add another activity. For this activity, we are going to enter in the required play attendance and 30% of the final grade. This completes the information for this section, but we can add finishing touches by changing the section title from Activities to Course Requirements. Furthermore, we can give some context for the table we just constructed by adding a short paragraph under the title. Let's go ahead and enter. The following table is a high-level breakdown of how you will be graded in this course. We want this section to appear in the sidebar Quick Links so we will leave Include Title in the Sidebar Quick Links checked. This will allow you and your students to easily navigate your syllabus. When they click a link from the sidebar, the page will scroll down to that section. Finally, scroll down and Save section. We will start a new Objectives section and change the title to Course NAST Objectives and GE Learning Outcomes. Looking at the content in this section, there are three different objectives listed. Starting with the first one, about general education, we will copy the content and paste it into the description. After adding a title to this objective, we are ready to add another objective. Again, we will copy the title in the description and paste them over.
the text area will retain the formatting from your Word document, but it's very easy to change the formatting in the editor. Let's italicize the first sentence of objective number two and then add our final objective. Once we finish copying over the final objective, we are finished and can click Save Section. Let's navigate back to the Courses tab to see the changes on that page. As you can see, there are two different sections of Theater 200. Instead of creating a new syllabus from scratch, we can clone the syllabus we just created into this course section. From the dropdown, you can see the details of the syllabus we just created. Select Section 1 and click Clone. Now we have an exact copy of our other syllabus, except that this one has updated course information for this course section number two. Let's take a look at what the final syllabus will look like to students when they view it on the web. 